Hi, I'm Pete, and this is the sticker reveal for the ninth Mega Minx Ball and the Stingray Puzzle. Both of these puzzles from Very Puzzle. Now, I got these uh, a little while ago in the mail. They'd been uh, stuck in the great uh, mail stoppage uh, uh, earlier this year. I got them after a very long time, and I had to do a fake unboxing. That's right, it was a fake unboxing. You might want to go check out that video and see what that was about. But uh, here we go, and I just love these puzzles. Uh, the uh, Stingray puzzle is very cute, and now that it has the uh, Stingrays on it, you can see all these little, little Stingrays. See his little mouth right there, his little tail there. Now that we have the stickers on it, we can uh, see a little bit better um, what the uh, faces are and how it turns. So uh, the faces with the uh, stingray tail, that is a, uh, an octagon, an octagonal uh, shape. Uh, it doesn't turn though. Then uh, with their little um, faces, it is uh, kind of a hex. Uh, it's a six-sided uh, face. Um, it turns, but it, it turns in steps of two. So a little bit reminiscent of uh, the top minx or, or something like that. And then this uh, face, which has 180 degree turns, and that's really a, a rectangle is, uh, is what it is. Now, when I uh, unboxed these, uh, one of my comments about this, when I was looking at the unstickered uh, puzzle, was that I thought it was going to be a fairly simple solve. And I think it is a fairly simple solve, but having solved it already, um, it's a bit more complicated than I expected. It is a, just a bit more challenging. Um, it's still a really, really good beginner's puzzle. So if you are looking for a gift for someone that, that maybe they don't even solve a Rubik's Cube, uh, but they do like puzzles, I think this would be great. Uh, one thing, though, I'm going to say is that the stickering, this one uh, came unstickered. So uh, you really want to get it st either stickered or you want to make sure that uh, if you're giving this as a gift, um, that they'll be able to sticker it because the stickering on this was, was a bit of a challenge. There's quite a few stickers for each uh, of the little uh, stingrays. And it's uh, quite a delicate operation, not only to apply the stickers, but to remove the scrap, the uh, surrounding vinyl. Um, material. But it just looks wonderful once it's done. Uh, for the sticker scheme, I just went on Very Puzzles website. They had two photos of the finished puzzle. Um, they're, they're opposite sides uh, and that was their suggested sticker scheme. I tried to follow that as closely as I could and I'm really, really pleased uh, with the way it turned out. Now, uh, as I say, this is a relatively simple solve, uh, but at some point I'm going to publish a uh, tutorial on this, just a, a simple scramble and solve, just to show how it's done, um, uh, because uh, it is just a bit more complicated than I expected, but still a lot of fun and a really, really great puzzle for a beginner. So um, yeah, if you're looking for something to, to give someone, it's, it's not a, a big, uh, you know, in a solving very complex puzzles. Um, this one, uh, pretty much anyone could solve it, even if they have to watch a bit of a tutorial to see the, the basic moves. Okay, so that was the uh, Stingray puzzle. All right, next up we have the ninth Megaminx ball, and I am so impressed with this uh, puzzle. I don't think Very Puzzle has ever made such a deep cut puzzle. Uh, this is just, just phenomenal. With every turn of the face, uh, we're looking at uh, about a third of the pieces on the puzzle turning. Uh, but for such a deep cut puzzle, does it ever turn smoothly? It is absolutely awesome. Now for the sticker scheme on this, I uh, decided to uh, go with a, as best I could, a standard Megaminx sticker scheme. So here's an old uh, Mega Minx they have, and uh, it's uh, actually this has tiles on it, but um, hopefully you can see. Uh, so I didn't duplicate it perfectly, mainly because there's I didn't get all the Mega Minx colors, but I think it's pretty close. Um, the other advantage that uh, going with the Mega Minx uh, sticker scheme uh, gives me is that then it makes it much easier uh, to compare this puzzle with some similar deep cut Mega Minx or Dodecahedral puzzles, such as um, the original uh, face turning uh, 
star minks. This is a deep cut uh, face turning star minks. So for example here, if I wanted to turn the um, star minks one, one turn, this is what it looks like. And if I turn the Mega Minks ball one turn, that's what it looks like. Now the puzzles are about the same size. This one's on a stand, so it doesn't roll away. Um, but this is this is a comparison of those two turns. Um, one of the uh, to me anyway, um, I can see for example the center has has moved, and the center on this one has moved. This edge, this two color edge, has moved. Likewise here, I have one, two, three, four of the five points on that face. One, two, three, four. Uh, but one feature that uh, the uh, Mega Minx ball has is this uh, corner here. This is a three color uh, corner. Now on a, on a spherical puzzle, it's more uh, triangular in shape. It doesn't really have much uh, depth to it, uh, but it's still, like, it's a logical corner. Um, and there's no equivalent piece on the deep cut star mix. Uh, so they're very close, but not identical. However, if we get the, um, what's uh, the puzzle, which is the curvy star minx. I think this is what uh, what it was originally called. Um, we look at the curvy star minx and do the same turn. And now when we compare it, we see the centers move, uh, the, the points move, the edges move, but we also have this mega minx corner and the same mega minx corner here, they both moved, which means that uh, for all intents and purposes, well, I think this is really the case, that the um, ninth Mega Minx ball is a spherical transformation of a curvy Star Minx. Um, it could also be considered a deep cut uh, or face turning Star Minx um, with additional corners. But that comparison, both of these comparisons is close but it's not entirely the full story because, and I, I don't know how much of this uh, is apparent on, uh, on the video, but the ninth Mega Minx ball also has textured stickers on it. That's just a factory variation that they, they give you uh, textured stickers, carbon fiber texture. In fact, when you're putting them on, you really have to be careful that you get them all uh, lined up properly. This is, I've just stickered it. So a few of the stickers are, um, need to be uh, pushed down for the, the spherical nature of it. Um, but these carbon fiber stickers then have a texture to them, which means that it gives a specific location for each of these little points and a rotation for the center. Now I'm not 100% sure that these centers can rotate and I'm not really sure if the, uh, the points can rotate. If so, they would have to be oriented. Um, but I do know that these uh, points can move around and thus on the ninth Mega Minx ball with the textured stickers, uh, you have to make sure that they get in the right place. Um, the same is not the case for uh, the points on the curvy Star Minx where these three uh, points are equivalent and it doesn't matter which one goes where. Actually, once you get it back, you have five different places. And so you can just place them um, as uh, as you find them on the uh, puzzle. So the, the placement of the points is a slightly easier task on the curvy star minks. Um, in terms of uh, the difficulty of a solve, um, the Mega Minx corner uh, just adds a, an interesting step to both of these puzzles. It's not super hard. Um, it's just a, an interesting step. So it's not like uh, it's another an extra hour of solving or anything. It's, it's an extra two or three minutes if you know how to solve the Mega Minx. Um, there is a, a thing about uh, getting it in the right order. You have to make sure you solve them the corners in the right step uh, or else, uh, you know, you might not be able to solve the rest of it. 
So uh, I, I I hope I've established that uh, one, I really like the ninth Megaminx ball, and two, that it's uh, part of a, a long line of, of really worthwhile puzzles. Let me try and get uh, get things all pointed the same here. Um, it takes its place in a great family. Uh, I know a lot of people who had the um, Face turning Star Minx. I uh, didn't really like it because it was quite catchy. Uh, and by the time that we uh, learned that you could just uh, take a bit of sandpaper to the points, which is what I did to this one, and as you see, it, it's uh, it works reasonably well anyway. Not not super great turning, but it does turn reasonably well. But by the time we figured out that you could sand down those uh, points, uh, its reputation was pretty well uh, uh, damaged. Uh, the Kirby Star Minx, I think, was uh, pretty well uh, received, and, and it's it's a great addition to the Star Minx family. And now we have the ninth Mega Minx Ball, which is another great addition to this family. Not only with its spherical shape, it's uh, really cool um, turning, really good turning, uh, but also the uh, factory stickers that give us just that bit more of a challenge. All right, well, as I wrap up my sticker reveal of the ninth Mega Megaminx Ball and the Stingray, um, before I did say that the Stingray was a fairly easy puzzle to solve, it's, uh, it's a little easier than a Rubik's Cube, and it would certainly be a very good puzzle for a beginner. Um, the other end of that is the ninth Mega Megaminx Ball, that, like the face turning star minx and the curvy star minx these are very complex puzzles a lot of pieces move when you turn them and uh, you, you really have to use some some fairly sophisticated uh, solving techniques so these are most definitely not uh, beginner puzzles they're they're quite challenging they're some of the more more challenging puzzles uh, that i have so uh, that's really uh, you couldn't get further apart uh, in terms of solving difficulty uh, of course, some people just uh, would just like to have one of these just to uh, to be able to display it. Uh, it is a very beautiful puzzle, and it's a, just a wonderful um, addition to uh, to the, the spherical puzzles that very puzzle been putting out. All right, well that uh, wraps up the uh, sticker reveal. As always, I do appreciate your comments, your questions, your suggestions. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, what do you think? Do you like the ninth Mega Minx ball? Is that a puzzle for you? And uh, do you have either of these other um, Star Minx uh, puzzles? I'm, I am kind of curious to know how many of us out there have them. And what do you think of the Stingray? puzzle. Do you like these cute uh, sticker designs that uh, Very Puzzle puts out from time to time? Um, I know they have the Lovebird. Uh, I am kind of curious to see what else they're going to do uh, with the with the Stingray design and with just uh, these cute uh, puzzle designs in general. All right, well, uh, do stay tuned for a uh, scramble and solve of the Stingray puzzle, and uh, oh, we'll see. Maybe uh, let me know what you think. Uh, do you want to see a tutorial on the ninth Mega Minx ball? And as always, uh, any other comments or uh, questions or suggestions you have? All right. Well, until next time. Thanks for watching.